Hello, and welcome to our second podcast about flowerhorn breeding. In this episode, we'll be discussing the breeding of a popular strain known as the SRD flowerhorn. We have partnered with Bunny Kanta from Sri Exotics, Hyderabad for this exclusive podcast. For those who are new to breeding flowerhorn, SRD flowerhorns are a hybrid species of fish that are bred for their vibrant colors and unique patterns. They are a popular choice among fish enthusiasts due to their striking appearance. Breeding SRD flowerhorns is a complex process that requires a lot of patience and attention to detail. The first step in breeding SRD flowerhorns is to select a pair of fish that have desirable traits. These traits can include the size, color, and pattern of the fish. It's important to choose fish that are healthy and free from any diseases. In addition, it's recommended to choose fish that are at least one year old and have reached sexual maturity. Once you have selected a pair of fish, you will need to prepare a breeding tank. The tank should be large enough to accommodate the fish and should have plenty of hiding places. You will also need to provide the fish with a balanced diet that is high in protein. Breeding SRD flowerhorns can be a time-consuming process, and it can take several attempts before you are successful. The female will lay her eggs on a flat surface, and the male will fertilize them. The eggs will hatch after a few days and the fry will need to be fed a special diet until they are large enough to eat regular fish food. One of the important factors in SRD flowerhorn breeding is water quality. The water should be kept clean and well-maintained, with a pH level between 7.0 and 8.0. The temperature of the water should be around 82 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Another important factor is lighting. It's recommended to use a dim light in the breeding tank, as bright light can cause stress to the fish and make them less likely to breed. To sum up, breeding SRD flowerhorns can be a rewarding experience for fish enthusiasts. It requires a lot of patience and attention to detail, but the end result is a beautiful and unique fish that is sure to impress. Remember to choose healthy fish, provide a balanced diet, maintain good water quality, and use appropriate lighting. Thank you for tuning into today's episode. We hope you found this information helpful. Please hit that subscribe button to never miss an update on upcoming video and podcast.